Hey, can you hear me? Sure can. <laughs> can okay. you hear me? Do I need to speak louder? <clears throat> you um, to, you're good. You need me to turn up my volume? Girl, if you talk any louder, you're going to be in the red the whole time. But thank you. You're perfect. Okay, let me... Okay, let me switch things up on my end here. Okay, guys, we're switching things up. Uh, that was a great video. I love that bubble. I don't know who they are, but it was cute. Uh, we have Abba on the line. Um, we're, we have some questions for him. So hold on. I didn't mentally prepare for this, but now I'm excited. So let me or move my thoughts around. How are you? Tell us about your day. How are you? Good, good. Spent time with family. Uh, then I uh, got home. So I'm probably, probably just going to take it easy for a little bit before doing some more work later on. But things are pretty chill. Okay, great. I love that. Okay, let me... I'm going to have my notebook ready. So how's, how, how's, how's your stream been? How you doing? Great. Everything is great. Um, looking forward to moving to Europe in May, getting ready for all that stuff. Stream's been good. Um, I don't know if you saw that Destiny and I kind of got into it for a second, but we fixed it. It's not a big deal. Um, and one of the discussions that came up, I really wanted your opinion on. So I'm very excited that you were willing to talk to me about it. Okay. One um, yeah. Just one thing here, because so I think I'm hearing it both on my speakers and. Oh, okay. Um. Okay. Is my mic okay at the moment? Yeah, you seem actually really nice, guys. Let me know if it's any if it's crazy. I won't be looking at chat too much now, but uh, according to my OBS, you sound great and you look great on the volume level. Okay, you just keep talking for a second. Let me let me figure yeah. out. Yeah. So hey guys, I just want to let you know. Um. In no way, shape, or form am I reaching out to ABBA to, like, be on my side. I don't think there's sides at this point in the conversation. But I want to talk to him about his input so we can have as much information uh, on subjects related to what Destiny and I talked about in order to create, like, a better uh, conclusion. But in no way is ABBA coming on to do anything more than share his his perspective. What? You don't want me to dogpile on Destiny I'm more than No! That. This man get jumped all the time. He is a bottom boy. That's why he's so afraid of it. Okay. All right. I've been I've, I've been looking for an opportunity. If this is not the one, then I'll still do this conversation. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> this is not the one. I actually, actually, I, after all the black people tried to get on him, and he just kind of went no. I was like, man, you can't jump this man. Like, don't no matter worry, how don't worry. I've been in his home. I've got all the dirt. I, I know. That's I know. True. I, I know the stuff that the black people really care about. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Okay, I'm really excited. Um, but again, speak from your perspective, and and just let me know what you think. Okay, I'll be um, honest with you. I, I have no idea what you and Destiny argued about. Yeah, I figured as much, honestly. Um, basically, uh, well, hold on. Let me, how do I, mm, okay. So it's not that Destiny and I talked about anything in particular that you need to like uh, come in and tell us what you think, but the subject matters we specifically talked about made me want to talk to you about them. So like example, the way men feel about violence, the way men experience violence, the trauma men get from violence versus sure. Destiny and I were talking about the comparisons in relation to rape, which so he put out a uh, him and Ayla put out a, or Ayla put out a poll on behalf of the conversation asking people if they'd rather be jumped by two people and end up in the hospital with no permanent damage or would you rather be nonviolently raped by a man, no matter your gender. Um, in a wild questions, okay. Uh, yeah, they're wild, but like we were having the debates and again, I think all violence could cause PTSD could cause harm. And I'm not trying to say that one is worse or better than the other. My positioning is like trauma. Is trauma. I, mean, I mean, no, no. One is definitely worse than the other. Well, which one is it? That's what we want to know. So what do you think? Get, getting raped is definitely worse than the other. Why? Uh, why? Because I think there's like a sort of mental violation. Um, so is this, just, is this geared towards men or women? I mean, I think they're both pretty harmful, but are you asking me from, I think it's more har it's harmful in a different way for men than it would be for women to be raped by men. Oh, interesting. Okay. There's no direction I want to push you into. I'd rather you just speak. So I don't feel like I'm feeding you a line. I mean, you can feed me a line. I'll just disagree with you. I I'm very okay. good at disagreeing with you. I think we've, you've already told me uh, I can be lecturing. So. Okay. Think... Okay. So, well, in general, the poll question was specifically men assaulting any gender, men or women, so both got to vote, or would you rather be mugged, whether you're a man or a woman, by men? So basically we're trying to, the question is sort of like, are, is the rape, man rapist and the man mugger scary? And which one would you prefer? Okay, and, and, and what do you think? 
Um, I would personally prefer to be um, mugged if no permanent damage because my rape left me with PTSD that I still have to deal with, which triggered the other day. And I yelled at my friend on the internet. Like I was so, I was so in my feelings, Abba. And I'm like, fuck, this is something I'm still dealing with. Like I still have to deal with yeah. it on a daily basis. You're allowed. You're allowed to yell at your friend. That isn't, it's not a bad thing. Well, it's Inherently. not the greatest thing either though. No, but I think, you know, like any relationship, there's ups and downs and there's, you know, sometimes heated moments. As long as you guys can work it out afterwards, I don't think it's bad that you had a moment. And we did. We really did. So, yeah, I'm pretty. Okay, fine. Well, okay. So does that inform your opinion then? Do you feel like because you can work it out and people could be understanding, it would be better than being. Wait, so, but you think being raped is worse because it's a man. Okay. Just give me your opinion. I mean, I mean, if I was. Okay. okay. So let's just be clear. When you say non-violently raped by somebody. Can you p- paraphrase? Because like I've had I had an experience once where I was sleeping and then I woke up and I was inside a girl. Now was that like a <gasps> deep violation? Yeah. Honestly, it didn't really bother me, but it okay. happened. Um, but I think do I think it'd be very different if she was like in my bum with a strap on? Like absolutely. And if it was yeah. a dude, it would also feel even more different. So yeah, I think all these things change the parameters of how I'd answer this question. Okay, I need to ask you, and you do not have to answer anything I ask you on stream. These are personal questions. Did you feel like when you woke up inside of her, that was an assault? Uh, no, but I, I think that's my way of handling it. It's not, it's not something that bothers me. Like I know people are like, no, there's probably something. I'm like, no, it really, really doesn't. Uh, but, I, you know, other people are going to feel differently about it. So, Would you uh, want it to th- happen again? <laughs> uh, I mean, low key, there was something kind of hot about just waking up and stuff. I mean, maybe if this person was like hideous, I'd probably feel differently. Which is kind of fucked up to say. In this era of like, no, all these things are terrible. If you're asking me honestly what I thought about the experience, like it wasn't, I don't think it was terrible. Okay. And then is this a person who used to be a lover or is this a total stranger? Uh, it wasn't a total stranger. It wasn't a used to be a lover either. It's like somebody oh, I know. Oh, really? So it, okay. It was- I will fully accept the way you feel about the situation if that's the case. I know some people with similar stories who were men and they didn't feel as violated, but uh, what if it was a man and you woke up and let's say he was like blowing you or something? Yeah, that's the, we start with hands. So, I mean, we, that's a death <laughs> sentence. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, so talk to me about that. Talk to me about that. Well, I mean, one year, I mean, it's just a double thing. It's like, I don't even know how to answer that question. It's just, it feels like I'm being violated in a completely different way. Mm. Maybe it's because um, as a straight person, the idea of engaging like homosexual acts for me is like something I would never do. And so I think there's the double violation of not only someone doing something I don't want done to me from someone I don't want done to me from, Mm -hmm. but also they're like pushing me past a boundary I would have never crossed consensually ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like Mm -hmm. I can imagine scenarios in which I would have woken up and allowed somebody to do that to me. Uh, You know, like, like someone being on top of me or whatever, I'm inside of them. A woman specifically, mm-hmm. uh, but I could have requested that beforehand. Or it's like a sex act I could have seen myself do, but yeah. the idea of a man forcing himself on me is just like it's also like almost emasculating in a way. Mm, okay, so do you think because one of Stephen's points was and to give credence to it was that the social stigma against rape is why people have a harder time getting through the trauma. The social stigma men feel when being raped by a man is different than being raped by a woman, Absolutely. and so it's. So, okay, so talk to me about that because I kind of feel like if you feel it's traumatic, then the rape itself is what's traumatic and the aftermath may help you get over that trauma or it may not. That having a supportive family could help you get over it, but that doesn't mean that the trauma couldn't exist. So I just wonder, like, is it I'm I'm, I'm confused. What is the disagreement that you guys have? Uh, Just get to the core of it. Well, okay, the only place we fully disagreed on was whether or not women who were sexually liberated slash promiscuous had a uh, less traumatic time during the rape than the person who was maybe sexually repressed or more modest. <laughs> That's such a wild, wild hypothetical. Um, okay. But then, it, of course... Okay, what well, is, is, is yeah. the argument because they're sexually repressed and they already feel shame surrounding sex that a right. violation of that sort would be worse for them? Right. Versus- and then they... Okay. They might have a support system, but versus the sexually liberated woman might have a resource to go to. But I haven't seen that be the case, but maybe it could be. But then men brought up being mugged and Destiny was talking about that, which I confused with getting into fights because I grew up in a different okay. environment. We, we, we don't have to get into the weeds and Ugh. stuff. If we're just at the core of it, which is like, do women who are sexually liberated have an easier time with their assaults than versus men? I mean, I don't have any personal experience with that, so I couldn't imagine. But if you were to explain it to me logically, I could understand how that 
answer would come about. But there's probably a firsthand experience that I'm missing in this regards. But I do mm. think like having an environment, having a, a more positive attitude on it might be able to help. But I, I think the problem with this is it's such an emotionally charged topic and it's such a personal traumatic thing that it almost sounds like when you make that argument, even if it may be valid, it almost sounds like you're telling women who have that right, like, you're sexually liberated. It'll be really easier for you to get over it, which is super yeah. insulting. So or I, even I, I, men, I, yeah, yeah, I, I don't think it would go over well. I think for, if you said it to men, I don't think most people would care. To be honest with you. Really? What about like even gay men? Because like in that poll on Twitter was amazing. Even the gay men in the audience were like, "Yeah, I'd rather be mugged than raped." Like, who wants to be anally raped unconsensually? Like, who wants that over yeah, being I, mugged? So you have to so imagine. Interesting. It, it, there, there's the extra layer, right? For you guys, it's a violation of your boundaries. For us, it's a violation of the boundaries. But if we're raped, then it's also incredibly emasculating. We mm. failed at the most basic thing that we're supposed to do, which is protect ourselves. And so I think like that aspect of it is very hard to come about. It's like if a woman gets mugged, she feels unsafe, but it doesn't make her feel any less feminine. Or oh, you know, good point. Whereas a man, if you get mugged, it's like not only is it masculine, someone took your shit and punked you, but it's also like you no longer feel safe and you're constantly paranoid. So, yeah. Okay. So do you think it would be – because what I'm trying to figure out is I – again, I have a really hard time comparing traumas. I feel really bad about trying to say that, oh, well, you getting mugged isn't as bad as getting raped because, like, I don't know that. Right? Like, that could be very traumatic to a person, maybe even worse than my rape, even though, like, we could both get PTSD. I'm trying not to cast judgment here. Yeah. But I do think – yeah, go ahead. Well, I think we're just doing averages. I think we're just saying on average, I imagine that people who get mugged probably don't have as much of a traumatic experience as people who get raped. I think that's a pretty easy one to make. I think most people would agree with it as well. Okay. How do you feel about this? Because like, again, we get lost in the sauce about the word jumped, like getting jumped. What does it mean if I said, Abba, I got jumped? What do you imagine happened? Uh, it means that a couple people ambushed you or jumped you in the sense like there were multiple people beating on you. Um, they could have beaten you extremely severely, but it's still like a a pretty good beating and they may have taken your stuff as well depending okay um does that does a jumping automatically incite trauma yeah absolutely okay um does a fight like a street fight always uh is it the same for a street fight what do you imagine when i say street fight uh not necessarily yeah so if i think a street fight i'm like two dudes duking it out basically like yo fuck you fuck you fuck your mama too when they start <laughs> throwing hands okay um, so, yeah but do you think a street fight would always elicit trauma uh, not necessarily in the same degree. Like maybe you could make the case, but not necessarily. No. Okay. So, and again, I'm speaking from my ass right now. Cause I'm, I only have one example of being jumped and it's not me. It was my brother. Sure. And it was a story that I was really upset when I first heard it, but he told me not to be upset because to him it was just a fight. And I was like, how is this just a fight? They jumped you. And he was like, yeah, but like I cut him off. So he was driving on the freeway. He cuts off this car to go to the gas station and flips him off. Cause my brother's an ass. Okay. He's a complete ass. He's been fighting since he was in high school. Right. So he's an ass. He goes to the gas station and three guys get out of the car. He didn't realize they followed him and they jump him and he comes home with bruises and cuts all over him. And I'm really fucking mad. I'm like, he's an adult at this point. I'm like, whoa. Do we need to file a police report? What is this? He's like, no. He's like, no, 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 no. I, no, it was a fight. And I was like, okay. So I had to reform how I saw his, uh, I guess, assault as a fight. But is he in denial? Is he probably traumatized? Does he not want to admit that he was traumatized? Like, I mean, uh, yeah, all the context changes it. Like the fact that he did something aggressive towards them and then it escalated from there. That's completely different than if you're walking down the street with your you know, iPhone and somebody jumps you, grabs your shit and beats your ass. Like, it's not the same thing at all, right? Like he initiated the whole confrontation. So I think it Mm. does feel drastically different. If I talk some shit about someone's mom and then I get dicked in the mouth, am I going to be traumatized from getting beat? Yeah, but I'm also going to be harder on myself because I'm like, I did cause this situation. So is he traumatized? Mm. Probably. There's probably after effects of violence that kind of stay with him and makes him more alert in certain situations and more scared. But it's probably not something that he feels he needs retribution for because he caused the situation. Okay, degree. that's okay. That's inter- yeah, that's interesting because a lot of um, like a lot of the reasons why my my rape really annoys me is because I was like, I should have. Why did I freeze? I should have fought. Like, what the fuck? I prepared my whole life for this moment and I fucked myself over. So oh. it's a lot of like guilt, not shame, because that comes from usually your culture. But I felt a lot of guilt over not living up to my high standard of myself. And I wondered if that's how it feels feels when men are like mugged in a way when they feel emasculated is that a similar energy or no no it's not the same thing i think the kind of shame that you feel from not doing the thing that you were supposed to i I wouldn't say it's like complete night and day it's not that much of a difference i just think i think you think you didn't do the right thing because like it's very 
when we encounter bout situations in order to take control of it, we blame ourselves because yeah. that's the only way we have control over the situation. And sometimes like we did have control, like, you know, you're going back to a dude's place. You didn't know at mm. three in the morning, who's got a shady past. Like there is some measure of culpability that you have in the scenario that you have put yourself in. Right. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I think for men, this is this. We intrinsically, basically in our core being, um, feel that we have to have some duty to be able to protect ourselves and also some of the people around us. That is how a vast majority of men feel. And so when we fail to do so, I think it's almost like our a part of ourselves is not functioning, which is very mm. emasculated. Then, then think, do you yeah. go ahead, go, go ahead. please, please, please. Oh, no, I, just just to come back to what I said earlier, the, the the difference between your situation and them is like your femininity, your sense of identity inherently isn't completely shaken by the whole thing. You may feel guilt and you fucked up, but for us, I think it's like we're no longer as manly as we want to be. Mm, I know some women have reported feeling like, oh, my value as a woman has now been um, sure. like wronged in some way. I didn't quite feel that. I'm not very, um, I mean, I do strongly identify as a woman, but like I, I have a little bit of a more masculine upbringing. So like I'm a little bit less into my femininity, sure. but uh, my, yeah, I felt like my power, like I was like weak, but I will say the question now I have to wonder is, are they even comparable? Should we even be comparing a, a, a woman's rape to a man's mugging? I, I wouldn't think so. I don't even think they're in the same stratosphere. But. Okay, because that's the conundrum. But also I was thinking, okay, because, okay, Destiny asked me, and this is like, again, this is very like hypothetical, but theoretically, would you rather die or be raped? You, I'm asking you now. Okay, I think the emotional side would say I'd rather die. I think the logical part of my brain is like, I'd rather to get raped. Okay. But like, like, like you're like, the degrees of separation are not large, even from a logical standpoint. Like it's incredibly, as a dude being raped by a dude, like, hold on, if you're asking me raped by a woman, I'll probably like, depending on how it happens, I'll be, I'll probably like, I'll definitely take that. Um, but if you're, if you're talking about getting raped by a dude and he like, he's doing the whole full prison Monty, like peanut yeah. butter and, and all that shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, a huge part of me would say like, I want to live, but like the, the part of me that says I want to die is also very close to that. So yeah. I think the problem that happens in this conversation, I guess, is like when I say rape, I mean, you said no and fight back and they do it anyways because they're going to pin you down and fuck you. So you come away with vaginal scarring. You come away with tearing. You come sure. away with like trauma. And then same when a guy imagines a guy raping him, he's imagining tearing most likely. Right. I don't a lot of rapists use lube or a condom. So you're I mean, dealing with STI yeah. scares, you know. Oh, I'm not even thinking about STIs. I'm just thinking I've been violated properly. Like Oof. that's not even a, a thing I would think about. What I'd be thinking about that more is like somebody completely like destroyed my manhood in a way. That's that's mm. like, like like it's super like as a man, I'd have a hard time looking at me. I'd feel so much self-loathing for allowing that to happen to me. Yeah. yeah. That's it's interesting because like I think from my understanding, like trauma and stuff that impacts you immensely, it really is like almost a physical sensation. Like uh logicking your way through uh like a trigger is kind of like saying logicking your way through a heart attack to me i'm like how do you introspect through a heart attack right because mm. because this violation is so intense in your brain it could cause you to react to even the most subtle of touches even people just saying hi to you could mm. make you think like oh my god so you're dealing with like a real almost like rewiring of your brain now i'm gonna i asked some therapists to come on to actually talk about the science perspective but it was interesting that the initial discussion really started with um, why do we think rape is so traumatic? Why do we think people would rather be mugged? Or why do we pe think people have the fantasy of saying, I'd rather have my co like my literal toes cut off versus being raped again? Or why would I choose death over being raped again? But then imagine, it has it begs the question, like, what are we all imagining when we imagine getting mugged or raped? You know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, maybe for some, I'm imagining the worst case scenarios in both. And I'm just like, well, can I just die? Is that an option? But then that sounds pussy. Like, oh, you're just giving up on life. But it's like, well, now I have to deal with all the aftermath of all the consequences. And I'm not saying victims of these things should want to die. But I'm saying that is definitely a sensation I've had. So it comes either way. But the, the idea is that we want to feel safe, even if we're mugged, even if we're raped. We just want to feel safe. Yeah. Like we have a sense of self. I think I somebody said it. I don't remember who said this, but it's like when you get raped, it feels like your body's not your own. Which is like you you almost loathe what it feels like to be in your own body. Totally. Um, whereas, like, if you told me to cut off my toes, it's still my body. <laughs> you know, it's minus yeah. two toes, but it's still mine. So I can understand the mental aspect of, of 
kind of squat. It feels less personal for some reason. I don't know why in my brain I'm like, yeah, dude, just like cut off my toes. I'll pretend I'm Rambo or something. But yeah. in a rape, like, where's the glory? Where's the where's the fucking where's anything? Did you do you have you seen Hunter Hunter? Uh, Hunter X Hunter. I've watched some episodes. Oh, yeah. there's an episode where this girl is putting needles in this guy's head and like learning what his brain says basically. And that's what it felt like. It feels like somebody is in my head, like in my, it didn't even feel like sex. It felt like this is like the weirdest thing I've ever had happen. It felt like my body, I just wanted to destroy it and get a new one. Okay. Like it, it felt like what was, but then I started to think of my body as like a ship and I was like, okay, ships go through battle. Ships get torn apart. You just rebuild the ship. And that's how I kind of, played with my brain to like convince it that like your body wasn't worthless like look at it how look how good it's become since mm. that point you know like mm. look at the way we've rebuilt and i wonder i have to assume people who are mugged people who go through violence experience something very similar um maybe? or maybe not because it's not inside of you but maybe like maybe that's why people are upset that i would rather be um dead or had my co- toes cut off versus raped is like people were pretty upset about that but I, mean, I, don't my... I, don't, I don't know how people would be that upset but it's not that's not a crazy thing. i think if you're like debate broing and logic breaking it then i guess i can understand because like death is infinitely worse than rape like you could certainly make that logical argument but i think human beings are not just made of logic there's a huge amount of emotions involved and i think people yeah. fear the experience of having their body not belong to them anymore so your answer is not weird um muggings it really depends if i'm giving you the scenario that you're just walking home in your neighborhood and mm. two guys come up to you smack you in the face start beating you up Oof. take your shit and and what ends up happening from there is you no longer feel safe in that neighborhood you no longer feel, feel safe in the place that you used to call home so every day is fearful it could happen again you self-loathe because you feel like you let somebody else take your shit and you're less of a man you carry that with you that trauma is like very 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 real um you become super defensive uh or or like just antsy about stuff and and you carry those scars with you into every interaction you have on the streets afterwards you're very vigilant as a result mm -hmm. um or some people become recluse they feel unsafe outside so they don't leave like there's ways in which a mugging can be really terrible um yeah. and, and and incredibly traumatic but i just think it's just a different form of trauma than what it would be if i had been raped but, yeah yeah by man Do specifically you why do you think that we all want to like compare our traumas? Cause I've noticed that like somebody told me a story very similar to yours about waking up only with them. It was the same sex issue. And so they were straight, but they woke up with like a same sex person going down on them. And some people feel like indifferent to these stories where they're like, Oh yeah, no big deal. Or some people feel mortified for the rest of their life, like PTSD status. Like, why do you yeah. think we want to compare those traumas or why do we feel like we need to say your trauma was cause destiny was trying to make the point politically socially we should know which trauma is worse but like i can't justify that desire because i'm feel not like... mad at him wanting to know because i think if you do yeah. averages and stuff like that and you're talking about people on a global scale it's Good useful point. to know which ones are worse right yeah because then you would treat them differently if you know one scars much more deeply than others then you want to treat that of course that same thing done to one person can actually mm. break another person completely versus another person can just walk it off right so it really depends on the individual side, how they take it in, that's absolutely also important when you're dealing on individual cases. But it's fine, I think, if you're talking about a macro scale to talk about like, all right, well, I think this shit is way worse. I think getting punched in the face is not as bad as somebody stabbing you. I think you mm. can measure that, even though both are very violent acts. I think one is markably worse in terms of the potential damage it can cause, yeah. et, cetera, et cetera. So I don't think it's wrong. I, I wouldn't sit with somebody who's told me I was raped and I'm like, well, I lived in a war zone. Like, I feel like that's a weird thing to do on an individual level. But I think on right. a macro level, it's fine to compare if you just want to figure stuff out. Because I wonder, it made me wonder this whole conversation, like, okay, let, let, let's take a stabbing. I love using that example. Like, if I was a regular Joe Schmo and I got stabbed, I think I would be, like, shook. I'd be like, what the fuck just happened? But if I was maybe a military soldier who was prepared to get stabbed because I'm in a place of war, maybe it would be different. Though I think the PT PTSD rates of soldiers kind of tells us that it doesn't matter. But maybe it could matter. I, I feel like it's so individual that I don't know how to generalize something like this. And I think it's almost – here's what I got. I got a lot of messages that said um, that was basically saying, yes, because you're slutty, you should have a better time of your rape. And I was like, OK, that feels <laughs> that feels wrong. <laughs> that is so a I wild thing to say. 
but like that makes that's the that's the thing that makes me wonder why do people think there's a better time of getting stabbed or getting in a fight or getting raped <laughs> except to the individual which might be able to handle certain things better than the other person like i, feel I, like I think what it means is probably what's important this like if you say mm. okay uh, uh uh somebody who's more sexually liberated or slutty or whatever a non-pc term well you know if you're a whore it's easier for you to get raped um if you're making that argument, I don't think it's like a very conducive one to make on an individual level. If you're trying to say, well, look, being sexually liberated helps you deal with some of the negative impacts of certain sexual experiences, mm. um, then I think it has a much larger implication that can be really important for other topics. It doesn't always have to be rape. What if it's like you guys try something for the first time? Like, let's say I'm in bed with somebody and I smack in the face. I think someone who's sexually liberated will more likely be open to that kind of stuff than um, somebody who hasn't. But it's still a violation of their boundaries. Why is mm. it more sexual? Because I think they've maybe already seen stuff like this. They've been exposed to it. They've tried other things that maybe not be similar, but not, not identical, but similar. And so mm -hmm. I think what it means is more interesting. But I would never, I don't know. I just think it's kind of silly to talk to people who've been raped before and be like, well, you're kind of a whore. So I think you can handle this better. It's like, uh, it's just, it's like, it's like people who make the distinction like, well, you weren't raped. You were sexually assaulted. Like, is the distinction important? Absolutely. Would I go to somebody who'd been sexually assaulted and be like, no, no, it wasn't rape. It was definitely sexual assault. I would mm. never do that. Uh, but it is important to know the distinctions or the different impacts of though, because mm. I think they do, they do affect people generally differently. You know, I did that the other day on my discord though i told this person i was like in my head rape is like a very specific thing but a sexual assault is a lot of things but if you call it rape i agree that it's rape but that's the problem i think we're all having is like i don't think stealthing is rape but i think it's sexual assault yeah. but because in my head like it's like you know what i mean you know what stealthing is right yeah yeah but but i, I would just never have that conversation with the individual but if you're asking me and we're just speaking in general i, I would oh i see i see I yeah the thing the thing that's funny though is like I don't know if I believe people when they say like things haven't traumatized them. If in their life, they're kind of sloppy. You hear like you get what I mean? Like when I look at people's lives and I think of like a non-traumatized person, not that I've ever really met one, but like, you know what I mean? It's like, what does that trauma look like? How does it display in your relationships? How does it display in your life? That's what makes me wonder because I know I'm traumatized. I know I have PTSD. I am not trying to hide that from the world, right? But sometimes I think people also deny themselves the ability to be traumatized because they don't want to seem weak. Sure. And then that creates a cycle of misunderstanding. Because like when I hear people say like, oh yeah, this thing didn't impact me, but then they get butthurt about it or they don't want to talk about it or they're hiding it from people. Yeah. That makes me wonder, like that sounds like trauma to me. But again, I'm projecting and I don't want to, I don't want to project. No, I think I a lot of people are not aware of their own trauma or whatever it is that's affecting them. And, and trauma doesn't have to look like you wake up in the middle of night with like night terror. Sometimes it's yeah. when you walk down the street, you constantly look behind you because you've been mugged before in this area. Or it looks like you take certain streets with lights on because when you were in the dark, you know what I mean? Things happen. It could look like a lot of different things. And so um, I think people are unaware. So, you know, someone says they're not traumatized. I'm not going to be like, actually, you are. But yeah, if you were to ask me, do I think a lot of people who are traumatized don't know it and don't acknowledge it? I'm like, yeah. 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 Can I ask you in relation to this, but it sounds like crazy, but I kind of want to bring it up. You know how you guys, you guys made the best video on parenting and like sure. raising your parents. Like this video, half my discord was in love with it. Half of them hated it, but I, you know, we, well, well, we wait one second. I'll just be right back. Okay. Take your time. One second. Yeah. Yeah. Take your time. Do you guys have any specific questions for Abba? Is there anything you want to ask him or that I should bring up that I'm forgetting? I'm trying to be as neutral as possible. I don't want it to be about sides. So I'm trying to like display the topics a little bit more neutrally, but I don't want anyone to think I'm like trying to hide something or or uh, make Destiny's argument like wrong. I'm not trying to make Destiny's argument. I'm just, that's why I'm trying to pick Abba's brain a little bit. Does anyone have anything? <sighs> okay, I'm back. Okay. So I was going to quickly ask, wait, why did the people hate it? I'm actually curious. Oh, um, okay, so here's the big thing. So from, uh, and again, it, it seemed to be a very specific kinds of people, but they felt like you guys were saying you, you should never like ignore your parents. Your parents are always people you should respect or you should always help your parents versus, what? well, what if I don't want to talk to my parents again? I was like, okay, well, Abin Preach didn't make the video for you guys. You guys are the people that actually can cut your parents out of your life. A lot of us don't do that. Right. So if we're not going to cut our parents out of our life and they weren't perfect, how do you make peace with that is the question that they were covering. 
But they, and again, I said they're not responsible for like hitting every angle, every bubble, right? Um, but that's how those people felt. But I said, yeah, but making it about you isn't helpful to the kids like us that want to stay friends with our parents or want to not friends, but stay in our parents' lives. Like, I don't, I'm not going to cut my parents out because they're fucking into LGBT bros. You know, like that's not an option for me in my reality. So yeah, I think those people were thinking about their really trauma parents and they were thinking, um, that those parents don't deserve relationships. But like, again, you guys were, you weren't, you were talking about kids who yeah. wanted to be. I mean, I said it. Some, I said some parents are not going to change. They're not going to be open to certain stuff. And right. And someone says, "I don't want my parent in my life." I'm like, "Why? That's your choice." I'm not going to tell you what relationships to value. Sometimes it's justified. Right. Sometimes it's not. I don't know your parent. Like, someone's parent raped them when they were kids. Like, I'm not going to sit there and be like, "Stay close to your dad." You know, like, yeah. It, it is what it is. I understand people stay away from their families or their parents for whatever reason. So, not absolutely. Yeah. No, and I heard that from the video. But then again, I am a kid who stays close to my parents and a lot of people are always really upset about that but at the same time like you're only upset because you like the consciousness that is my parents will never be replaced by any other like there's it doesn't matter if there's a hundred better people in the world morally what does it matter you're not my parents like you're not the conscient like the conscious that is them yeah. and that's what I care about is like I, I'm making it work with them because I love them I don't love you good person out there in the world it's like mm -hmm. I'm not with you in your life but that video made me think about all these sort of unknown traumas we could be or, or habits instead of trauma, maybe even habits we've been picking up. And then it leads us into the relationships we have in the real world. So like my parents raised me my whole life being very diligent about my safety, being very self-aware that even before I was assaulted, my friends always asked me like, have you been assaulted? You're so paranoid. But see, my parents come from a very bad bubble in Iraq where like assault was pretty common, like getting arrested by Saddam soldiers was common being like my grandpa has literal whiplashes on his back from being like taken and imprisoned. So they're dealing with trauma that's so specific. But my dad would say something like this. And here's where I want your opinion. My dad would say like, yes, Betsy, I've seen women massacred in the roads of Iraq, obviously, but I'm not traumatized. And I'm like, oh, that's an interesting idea that maybe he could have experienced this violence and not been traumatized by it directly because it's a daily occurrence. And I wondered if you had any insight into that idea that maybe certain even like lifestyles or or like maybe I'm thinking professional criminals, like do they experience it differently? Can they stab a person and not be traumatized? Can they be stabbed and not traumatized? Like, do you think it's actually the bubble and in the environment that helps you not get traumatized? Or is it the way you think about it before doing the action? Yeah, that's a good question. <clears throat> I think part of this might just be a matter of definitions. So uh -huh. when you think of trauma, what do you mean? Uh, long-term or short-term right. intense reaction to X thing. So long-lasting trauma, like long-lasting hurt, pain, suffering. Okay. So yeah. trauma I'm just, is an emotional response to a terrible event like an accident, rape, or a natural disaster immediately after the event. Shock and denial are typical. Longer-term reactions include unpredictable emotions, flashbacks, strained relationships, and even physical symptoms like headache or nausea. Okay. Yeah. I think when most people think of trauma, they think of those things. Yes. They think of I'm like good with that. Flashbacks, uh, physical symptoms, like losing control. And if you're operating off that definition, I think there's a lot of people who go through terrible things and then are able to function really well without it like affecting their day-to-day -day life. And so I think yeah. if you're operating off that, I think I understand where your dad is coming from. If you yes. were to look at your dad and ask him the same question without the word trauma and say, do you think those experiences shaped you in terms of your worldview and, and how you handle things and i think most of them would probably say yes now is that the same thing as trauma as most people understand no but i think it can have um when i think of trauma at least in the more looser definition i have i think of, of events that could long-term impact you in even subtle ways that completely alter the way that you live life mm. so mm -hmm. um maybe you witness that violence and you aren't um, waking up and having night flashes, but maybe you're desensitized to violence. Maybe for you, the Ooh. trauma that you experience is like you're numb to it or you're just so used to this kind of stuff that it's you still see it as bad, but it doesn't bother you or shake you anymore. That could yeah. be an experience. I think, I think once we all come to understand what it is the trauma that we're talking about, I think you can have a better conversation in regards to like what is after effects. Because I think most people would acknowledge that terrible things that happen around them does shape them.
Yes. Yes. Okay. I actually vibe with this a lot. And now again, the initial, initial, initial conversation I had with Steven, I called him twice. The first time I was just legit triggered and there was no way to have like a, I think a reasonable conversation with me as much. I couldn't see him in like good faith. And then the second time it was better and it was no big deal. But yeah, when people talk about these subjects, the dilemma is that it's, I find that like if you go through a really bad car accident and then you go to a support group, the support group is there to help you because you're traumatized, not because you didn't have any trauma because you have a support group, right? And so this idea that your environment could help you not be traumatized is technically true for some people, but I think the event itself is what can be traumatizing. So the trauma starts initially at that moment, not the aftermath. It's not like, oh, if you're raped, wait, make sure you have a good support system and then maybe after you won't be traumatized or Mm -hmm. maybe you'll have a better time of it or maybe you won't but it is an interesting idea and then I just think about men and violence and how like again my heart like broke from my brother when I first saw him but then my framing had to switch because he needed me to switch it because every time I looked at him like I felt sorry for him he was like stop I got in a fight it was what it was I was like okay you're making it worse Yes, exactly. And I don't want to do that to him. I don't want to pity him or anything. So again, I'm trying to like allow him to feel because again, I don't, I don't want to emasculate anyone. I don't want to like do that to Brittany, uh, Brittany. Oh my God. I read my name on the chat and that's why I said that. I don't want to um, do that to women. I don't want to do, I don't want to, I don't want to compare traumas for this reason, but I understand logically why we have to sort of, but again, I can't say that a man getting mugged isn't as bad as me getting raped. Like I don't know that. Okay, I want to answer that question. Just give me two seconds, okay? Okay. Waiting on a bug. Bum, 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 bum. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. So, the reason why I think it's important to know is I think from a societal framework framework perspective you would want to know which traumas are worse because i think you'd affect sentencing i think you'd affect the reactions that people have like if your dad slaps you maybe it completely alters your life to the point that you have a negative reaction to 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 any kind of physical alteration right and and, and getting hit by your parent not great but it's not the worst it's not as bad as getting raped or whatever like and i think we can confidently say that and i think knowing the difference between the two because it affects sentencing it affects the way we talk about these topics yeah and so i think understanding the degree it doesn't change the fact that to an individual something smaller can be more traumatic it just means that on a macro scale i think it's important for us to know because it'll affect how we see generally speaking I agree. And because my work is centered on the individual, I have a much harder time hearing these questions and not thinking of them that way. Because you're right. Like, I have been physically slapped across the face by a grown up, and I have been uh, put in physical altercations with family members. And I have, you know, a lot of my siblings and I talk about it as like, yeah, what are you going to do? It's life. You know, you move on, you go to therapy, don't go to therapy. I don't know. You just like figure it out. But it's not like the same thing as being raped at all. Like, it's, Mm -hmm. like, physical discipline and violence in the house. Like, I mean, I had a very mild spectrum compared to, like, other kids. But I had a spectrum enough that was quite abnormal to my normal kids. I don't know how to say it, right? Like, who's normal? But, like, yeah, some of my – most of the people in our neighborhood thought it was quite weird. But we were also the Middle Eastern family and the immigrant family. So everyone just said, well, I guess that's, like, how immigrants do things. And I'm like, yeah, it kind of is, though. And so we're having a different relationship with – reality or our parents or how things go but -hmm. we also can see how human our parents are like my family like I've seen full-on fights break out at get-togethers and stuff but like there's so much like getting along afterwards that it's hard not to know that people tussle but that's not the same thing as being mugged or being raped like these are these are feelings getting out of hand versus um like intentional malicious harm yeah yeah and I think that distinction you even made between like your experience with that Someone might come to you and say, I don't know, I feel like getting beat my, by my parents on a regular basis. Yeah. I would have almost liked to have been raped better. Yeah. And maybe it's true for them. I, I don't know. Right. But if you're asking me, like, if that same person, I would never go out of my way to tell them. But if they ask me what I thought about, I don't think it's worse. So uh, yeah. that's my approach to the conversation. I, I don't go out of my way to do it. If you're asking me logically what the answer is, like, yeah, I think we could create hierarchies. I think there's some things that are comparable or close to – um. But I think it's fine to look at different traumas and be like, yeah, some of them are worse than others. And it's okay to have that conversation without invalidating everyone's experience. I just don't believe that the individual can decide how traumatic something is. It could be true for them individually, but I don't think it decides anything on a larger scale. So if someone says, 
my mom called me fat when I was a kid. Like some kids, that'll fuck them up the rest of their life. And yeah. other kids be like, I, I was kind of fat and I, I'm better for it now. You know, so like true. That's okay. So that is, yeah, I, I, I came into the conversation purely from the individual experience, which I think was the, it was obviously wrong. Stephen was talking about generalities or um, the society or laws, but that's the problem is like, if we create a law that says vaginal rape is worse, is less worse than anal rape. Yeah. Then are we going to give less compassion and empathy to the vaginal rape? That's what I'm concerned about is like, why are we doing this? If it means people are going to be less, like I definitely got less sympathetic messages because people were like, yeah, Brittany, get over it. And I was like, okay, again, I don't care that you think I should get over it, but I'm asking you if you understand that, like, that's not helpful because, like, people are going to get lost in the weeds. But I guess, hey, that's life. Everyone gets lost in the weeds once or with something. Yeah, I would yeah. say those people are assholes. Yeah, for sure. But they feel they feel like honest sometimes, Abba, when they write me. Like, they genuinely are like, Brittany, just get over it. And I'm like, okay, I'm working on it in therapy or I'm working on it. I think I'm going to go back to therapy to help my That's PTSD. so corny. That's so corny. Get over it. It's just such a stupid thing to say because everybody's going to have to do shit at their own pace. You can't just yeah. rush people into getting better. It's like physical fitness, whatever it might be. It's like, just get it done. It's like, yeah, but it takes some people longer than others. Yeah. You know? Yeah, for sure. I hate that shit when it's like, when are you going to get married? Some people get married at 20, others is at 30. If you keep asking me, I want to punch you in your face because, like, I'm going to do things <gasps> on my own time. Like, mind your yeah. fucking business, you know? Yeah. Um, so I just, I would never go to somebody. I just, I just think that you're, you're kind of retarded and autistic if you're going up to people you don't know and, and you're like, you got raped? Oh, well, you're a whore. So it's, it must be easier. Like, who raised you? You fucking loser. Um, yeah, there. I think people naturally compare. Like people, it was funny, and I don't. Again, I'm not. Wait, what do you mean I, naturally compare? In what scenario? Like, what scenario? Someone's like, I was raped, and then you're gonna be there, like, well, that's not a, in your head even. That's not as bad as me getting uh, beaten up. Like people, you think people do that? Well, they did it through this discussion. It was all over the comment stream. It was insane, Abba. Like there wait. was a whole. Wait, maybe I'm misunderstanding, but like, yeah, if you're saying. People were comparing. Well, they were comparing physical assault, like getting mugged, jumped, like hurt. With no, 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 no. Okay, what are you saying? They didn't say all that stuff because you said you were raped. They said all that stuff because there was a discussion about which ones are worse. I don't believe that if you came on the stream and said, I've been raped before, the comment section would be like, well, I was beat by my parents. That's worse. I don't think that's going to happen. I, I refuse to believe people are that retarded. Yeah, no, not that comparison. Not something like beating by my parents but then i think that's the problem is like people start comparing how you should react like that was what was interesting is like do you know who that girl ayla is the long-haired black she has black long hair she's white she's black long hair she's kind of autistic or she's autistic is that the the the, the porn lady the, the yes the pole porn lady she does porn and she's an escort and she does that stuff that's dope that's dope um yeah, yeah. hold up just just before we move forward i just want to make it Please. clear People don't, if you bring up your trauma, people don't immediately start comparing. Is that what you're claiming is happening? Oh, uh, well, no, only in a discussion space has that ever really, well, that's only happened in personal. I've had that happen in personal family situations like because what? they invalidate all those things. Well, like, like, um, well, when I, well, okay. In my bubble, when I brought up my assault, it was very much like, what did you do? Which yeah, it, but, but that's like, not the same as know. comparing things. That's not well, the same. they'll say, well, 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 sometimes I get like, you haven't had a hard life. I've had a harder life. But like, that's the thing is like, this is just arrogance and ego. It's not real. Like, it's not, they don't, they're saying things, but I don't think they mean it. I don't think they actually believe it. So I think I agree with you. I don't think people are actually, I mean, I'm sure someone in the world is, but it's more like uh, they're doubting that it was as bad as it was. That's, okay. it's more that. Okay. So they so they want to be like my life was rougher because I did this and I'm like okay but like I'm not asking to compare our lives. Right, right. So basically, you're talking about the gravity of the situation, and then they're being like, it's not that hard. Yeah, yeah. Okay, like, I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like Ayla had this interesting life experience where I guess she was she had a sexual molestation when she was young. I think um, don't quote me by her father, from what I understand, and she said it didn't traumatize her. And she said that society <sighs> made made her think she should be traumatized, but she actually doesn't care. And I was like, okay, that's great. Not that I believe that, but that's great. And then someone was like, see, why can't Britney do that with her rape? Like, if Ayla can handle it being as a child, why can't Britney handle it? But, like, I'm actively acknowledging I, I that, just, I got, that I got I want to appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I want I want to appreciate that, like, there's just something wild. Every time I hear, like, a sex worker who's been arrested say something like, oh, yeah, it doesn't affect me. I'm like, boo. If you did a poll of all the sex workers in the world, mm. the va like, I'm pretty sure you're going to find an overrepresentation of sexual abuse there, which I think is very fascinating. 
Yeah, like there's a lot of – even my friends and I, like I'll be real. Like one of my friends who was assaulted versus me, like I did move into promiscuity to like regain my sense of self after I was raped. And my friend went the opposite direction. She went, nobody touched me for like 10 years. Mm -hmm. So everyone takes it differently. And that's the thing is I want to ask Ayla, like how do you know you're not traumatized? If you look at your life, how messy is it? Because frankly, you can see it in my life. I get really shaky. I start hyperventilating because I think I'm back there. Like I get really emotionally entangled in it. So I know I'm still working on my trauma. It's hard to deny it. But with the other side, if you never acknowledge it, never go into it, never explore it, I'm afraid, and it doesn't matter, people can do this, that they're more coping and like bearing it down versus acknowledging, like, would you want it to happen again? Would you want it to happen to your kids? Would you want it to happen? If not, then like, why not? But do I think like someone could get raped and not traumatized? Sure. But I would need to see how that is displayed kind of like with your parenting uh, you know parents will always say like my parents will always say they were the best parents they will never acknowledge the trauma but their trauma is in their kids you can see it in the way we date or operate in the world <laughs> yeah I, like, so, I think a lot know. of people are unaware or they're just not willing to acknowledge it but it's like yeah but not, i also go you're ahead, not, you're not, you, you, our experiences shape us and at the end of the day whether it's like an extreme trauma reaction where you can just get jumpy or you know you date dudes that remind you of your father Mm. Um, or exactly the opposite, you know, like you're still affected yeah. by that whole experience. So um, maybe it's the case for her. Who knows? Like I said, I don't like arguing with individuals right. about their own lives because that's like, right. I don't know you. You, you, you're, you. If you're not ready, whatever, maybe you really are good. Who knows? But do I believe that most people who are molested are traumatized? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think that's what's so hard is like, yes, I do think there's a conversation to be had about the greater um, culture and how we can like move things forward. But I, I, yeah, I don't want to tell an individual. I don't like this comparison. It scares me a little bit. But at the same time, obviously, with the law and stuff, we need to make it happen, which is also, like, outside of my sphere of expertise. I just yeah. – I, I feel like that's so beyond my pay grade. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. Are, are you ready to acknowledge it now that that, uh, that rape is worse than mugging? Uh, Come on. You can do it. On a societal level? Hold up. Do you think that getting raped is worse than getting slapped? Yes. Okay. Do you think that getting mugged is not as bad as getting raped? Personally, I do. But okay. I'm there. You go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Ooh, personally, I do think rape is worse. Okay. Do you think that for most people who, if they were raped or if they were mugged, do you think which one would affect them the most? For most people. Uh, if it's a violent mugging and a violent raping, yeah. I. I assume the rape would impact them more. Okay, good. good. But well, I hey, could look. be projecting. No, no, no. That, that, it was definitely the rape. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it, the the one that's the worst and it's gonna affect them the most. Is definitely gonna be the rape. Do you think just because it's personal, like it's it's like violatingly personal, or not even? You, you, you didn't just take my possession. You took my body away from me. It's completely different. If I lose my watch to myself, like I'm gonna have a fear response, sure. But like you took away my little physical body. That's wild. Hell no. Yeah. Well, what if you ended up paralyzed because of the mugging? Which is better, to be raped anally or to be mugged but paralyzed? Oh, I'd rather be raped. I'm, I'm, there ain't no way I want to be Stephen Hawking. But I, what yeah, I would say, right. what, what I would say is like that's not the way you would do the comparison. If you ask me, do I want to be raped or do I want to be paralyzed for the rest of my life? Well, you know, mugging. I, I, I'd rather get raped because I don't want to be okay. paralyzed for the rest of my life. Okay. Um, okay. Do I want to lose my legs or have somebody in my bum? Get in my bum. I'm not losing my legs. Right? Oh, Every interesting. Oh, yes. And I think most women would also agree. They'd rather get graped than lose their fucking legs. Both my legs are just one because I don't really walk a lot. I'm a chronically online person. So, like, Boo Boo, you are not trying to be in no goddamn wheelchair. You will 100% take another grape over getting, losing your legs. I, I, I don't know. I, I can't. I refuse to believe there's anyone out there. And even you're struggling. You're like, there's not a fucking chance in hell you would want to live the rest of your life with no legs. It, it, you would choose getting grape. I don't know. I, uh, I'm i pretty sure, like, the problem is, Abba, I'm so fucked up from my PTSD. My brain is like, I cannot handle this again. Just fucking cut off my legs. I don't even use them. No shot. No, no I, I don't know. I, th I think right now you're saying this because you, obviously you're very tied to your trauma and all that true, stuff. True. But I am very confident. If I put a gun to you, you don't have two seconds to choose. You're going to choose grape. There's no way you choose your legs. I can't. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm too close to it. I can't. Like, I, I'm too, I, it's so, like, I hate reliving it. I hate it. Yeah. 
I can't. I just think about, you know what? Cut off my toes for sure. I don't even need those. Cut off my fingers. Like, lose a pinky? Like, fuck, what do I need this pinky for? I finger people with two, the two big ones. You definitely want your legs, girl. Imagine trying to be a mom and try to do anything, try to that's find love. That's true. That kind of go skating hard. again. Yeah, hey, that shit's hard. Hey, hey, hey. You not, there's no way you're choosing. You, you, you're going to choose the grave. But what if I get raped again and it fucking shoots me into mania and now I'm not even a person? I forget everything. That's, I that's through, possible. Like, that's possible. I, that's what, what I can I'm guarantee saying. is your life is, if you lose your legs, your life is going to be exponentially. It is. It is. But I wonder if it would help me keep. Okay, here's the rule. If I could lose my legs but keep my sanity at the same same rated, like same uh, place it is, I would choose that. But if I got raped and it ruined my sanity more than it is now, I would. So do you get what I'm saying? Like my sanity. No, is are you, so no, no. This, this is what you should ask. The question is Tell me. too simple. If you asked me, do you, you want to lose your legs or lose your sanity? Like, what, what does losing your sanity look like? Like, I'm constantly on mushrooms. Like, I'll take mushrooms. If you're telling me I lose my sanity, like I got Parkinson's at 32, I'll probably choose losing my legs in that scenario because I'd be mm, dying essentially. Basically. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, yeah. listen, we're, we're just doing this hypothetically. We, we, we can go back and forth. But yeah. Well, that's the thing is like, I think. Oh, hello. Sorry. Go ahead. I think Steven originally wanted it to be like this kind of conversation, but it got. I think really serious, really fast, mostly because I called in first and I was really upset about the scenario yeah. of like, why are we comparing? But now this seems easier to compare, but genuinely yeah. I am too into, like I'm still recovering from my PTSD though. I'm pretty stable. It's still like once every six to eight months kind of gets like upset. And so like moments like this where I'm like, oh, why is that so upsetting to hear my friends say this on the stream? And then I was like in it for like at least 48 hours probably. But it was like one of those things where Again, I can compare this all day, but in this state of mind, genuinely, yeah, my sanity is tied to my rape. So that's why I'm so fragile about it. Plus, I have borderline, which is tied to my childhood trauma, which is tied to my sanity. So I value it so strongly that another rape might shoot me down a hole I can't get out of, which is why it's so scary. Because so I'm like, yeah, fuck you my know, legs. You know a hole you can't get out of? One where you have no legs. You're definitely not getting out of that hole. Girl! <laughs> I'm just saying, try to get out of a hole with no legs. And that shit is way harder. Like, I'm just saying. I guess yeah. with my legs, at least I could attempt to kick a rapist versus if I have no legs, then I'm just like. That's what I'm saying. Me. You're going to be much more easy and much more prone. Oh, God. Know, this, is a, this is a terrible, but I'm, I'm just being honest. With you. If we do in comparative stuff, we can certainly find interesting scenarios. But I think what it really comes down to is the individual may internalize things very differently, and that's okay. But. Yeah. But. I think on a side level, I think there's nothing wrong with doing the comparisons, provided you're not going up to individuals and acting crazy. Yeah, for sure. No, I agree. Okay, now, do you have any thoughts or extra questions or anything on your mind in regards to this that you think? Because I know you guys have covered men and violence a lot on your channel, and sure. it always stood out to me as something kind of foreign to me. Like, I, I, in particular, when you talk about how women will start fights thinking their men will come in and save them. And yeah. I wonder, what is it about violence and men? What is it about women thinking violence is easy? Myself included, like, I have this fantasy almost about, like, anime fights, which is not the same thing as being mugged. But I'm thinking, like, there's something glorifying about a fight versus getting raped. Like, there's no glory. But I wonder if for you guys, there is still is no glory in fights and that you fucking hate the idea of being in one. You know, do you have any insight to give us? I mean, it's just, it's just terrifying. Like, um... <clears throat> I think women are not afraid because either A, they don't understand the consequence of violence because I think people who've really been beaten up don't really approach it nearly as casually. Um, so I think most women have never probably been beaten up in the street by a man because I think once you have your ass beat, you're going to definitely move different. I think they also have a bit of an aura of invincibility because like the threat of violence is not there. I think if I go up to a man and call him a bitch, like there's a very strong possibility that that man going to come from my neck, right? Mm. And I think for women, they understand like if they act in certain types of way or don't control their bad behavior. There's no consequences in that, yeah, mm -hmm. when it comes to violence a lot of the times. So mm -hmm. I think they're much more apt to it. And I think if you've ever been in a fight, if you've ever lost a fight, if you ever, I think the stakes are different. If a woman gets beat up, like I said earlier, like her femininity is not in charge. If a man gets beat up, especially in front of other people, it's super shameful. Like mm -hmm. women being, get beat up. They feel the physical hurt. It's like, it's kind of scary. If a man gets beat up in front of other people, there's the shame of having yourself be emasculated in front of so many other people. You are angry. You want revenge. You want to get back at the person. You want to reclaim your manhood. You want to make things right. That's why so many dudes are like trying to kill the person who did that to them. Um, yeah. And so... I, 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 the stakes are just completely different. And I think the underlying barriers to entry for violence for men are much smaller than they are for women. 
Yeah, even if a woman, see, it's like if I ever had to fight any woman <clears throat> anywhere, I feel 100% confident. If I had to fight, well, not MMA fighters, everybody chill. <laughs> but if I had to fight any man anywhere, I would always feel like I'm going to fucking lose. Like this shit is about to, I'm going to lose. And so I wonder I think, if you, yeah, I, I, I think you're that confident, but I only think you're that confident because you haven't fought. True. Much. True. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. True. I, like, I've been in enough fights and I've, you know, listen, some gone well, some gone not terrible. I would not be that confident about winning street fights. Okay. Um, because okay. I understand the parameters are different. Like, I don't know if he's by himself. I don't mm. know if he got a weapon on him. I don't know if he had his training. Like, you can mm. only casually speak like that and confidently speak like that because A, you're untrained and B, you have no experience. With it. Even as someone who has been in enough fights, I would never talk like that. Okay. Okay. Do you think it's similar to the rape thing? Because that's what I felt when people were like, like, why is like rape so traumatized? It's the same thing. It's like, well, dude, I've been there. It's fucking awful. But I get like, because I haven't been in, I always avoid fights. Like I'm not much of a fighter, but like my brother used to try to drag me into fights just in school. And I'm like, no, but like in my head, because I wrestle, I tossle and I take self-defense classes in the past. I think, oh, I could do pretty well against the average woman who's just like picking a fight with me. But a woman who's trained to fight, like, no, I don't know no. how to fucking throw a punch. All, all your self-defense stuff is cute. The moment she start yanking on your head and grabbing <laughs> your hair and pulling you down, all that self-defense training going to be fucking useless. Women, I've watched women fight. I've seen them. Once you start yanking on heads and hair, there's panic that sets in. You start fight or flight. You're just trying to get her off your hair because she's pulling out the scalp. Like, yeah. that shit not going to be as clean as you think it is. And certainly yeah. not. Okay, I so, believe you. Yeah. I do trust you because you have been in a fight. Destiny was so afraid about being punched in the nose. He was like, I'd rather be punched in the nose. And I was like, oh, my God. I'd breaking your nose is not that deep. My 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 brother broke his nose wrestling with his brother. Like, our brother. Like, our my nephew just broke his arm wrestling with his brother. Breaking a bone hanging out is not as scary as fucking getting raped or, like, getting mugged in a real violent way. But for wait, some wait, wait, people... Wait, wait. De De Destiny said he'd rather what? Okay, I don't want to put it in his mouth, but I feel like I remember him saying <laughs> that What do you want, that I want to put in his mouth? Well, okay. Hello, ma'am. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, I think I recall him saying that he didn't even want to get punched in the face with a broken nose. And I'm like, okay, but over that's not what? even that. Well, I think he said over rape, but I have to ask him again if that's what he said, because I can't remember, but I thought that's what he said. And it could be wrong. I really don't want to take huh? him out of context again. Wait, wait. This makes sense. There's no way. Wait, do I think Did I... He, 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 said, he said he'd you? rather get punched in the... You'd rather get I, raped than punched in the nose? I got to ask him that question, but I feel like that's what he said when we first spoke but i could be wrong but i was nah. thinking about that because i was like no can't... shot there's I no refuse. Right? there's Hold no on. way he would say i that. feel like i should message him because i can't remember if he literally said because i remember thinking well no that's a guy who's never been punched and i've been okay i've been manhandled enough to be way more okay getting punched in the nose um is he streaming i don't know i can't remember Wait, he said he'd rather get graped than to get punched in the nose wait I, I, no, hold on. I don't want to, that's what I thought he said, but I could be wrong. Rather get raped than punched in the, in the nose and broken. There's no way. There's no way. There's no, there's, there's no there, way. There, there could be, I could be wrong. I could be fucking wrong. No, 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 no. Wait, can you guys, I, I, oh, he no, wants that to, is why. Abba, he Wait. wants to, he wants us to join his room. Should we do it? Is he watching us right now? Fine. We can join. Okay, let's, let's go. It. I'll see you there. All right, let's see. Okay, I'm going to have to hang up on you, right? Uh, yeah, you I'll just go join. Okay. What's up? Hold on. I, I'm just going to ask what she said. Because she said, I said there's no shot you said that. You did not okay. say. I rather... could be wrong. Hold on. You... I don't know what you're saying. Your mic is cutting out half your words. Okay, so she said she doesn't know. She believes. She can't remember clearly. But she said, Destiny would rather get graped than punched in the nose. And I'm like, there's no shot that's true. Then just punched in the nose? What kind of punch or are we broken. talking about? Oh, okay. What kind oh, of punch are we talking Oh, you got my nose broken? About? Yeah, I wrote yeah. you like 100%. But I'm a huge Ooh. outlier there. I know I'm a huge outlier there. But yeah, 100%. That's the easiest decision in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Abba? Okay. I mean, I, I, I don't even know how to respond. I mean, listen, if somebody... Uh, Wait, what? You'd rather be raped? <laughs> Yeah, oh my god, is this lying, is dude? It? Why yeah, are you 100%. fucking lying? What are you talking about? Okay. Wait, <laughs> is this Zerka? I have always yeah. wanted to talk to Zerka. You're crazy. I love you. I love no, no, we, you need, we, we, need, hey, we need to get to the bottom hey, of this. Are you guys letting him get away with that? He's clearly lying. He's been hit in the face before. 
Well, you have no idea what my background is, firstly. Okay. And Even no one ever has ever struck you in the face. You said you can't go through that again. You'd rather be raped, anally raped? Are you fucking wow. retarded? Are you crazy? Okay, well, hold up. Do you think you would enjoy your grape? Yo, no, of course not. No, not if it's great. You don't enjoy it. Of course not. So, like a dude just ravaging your bum hole, you feel like that's much easier to handle than. than Damn, Abba, yeah, you're think, extreme. I, I don't, yeah, this is AIDS. Um, that's extreme, Abba. You can't say that on YouTube. Good one. Uh, ravaging your bum hole is definitely acceptable on YouTube. You definitely <laughs> use that. Sure. Monetized. Personally, I think I, I wouldn't care that much. Um, I said this on my podcast yesterday. But, uh, but uh, having like a nose broken or whatever and going through the whole process of going to the hospital, doing all that shit, I wouldn't want to fuck with that. It'd be annoying or whatever. Yo, Steve, <laughs> people flipped because I said this, but if Stop, I had but a choice... Hold on, Brandon Abbott had an interesting conversation. I don't need your coke down This is on topic. Ass. This is on topic. Uh, if I had a choice between having a finger up my ass or killing myself, I would kill myself I with know, a smile you. on my face Good. every single time. No, you okay. wouldn't, Zarka. No, I swear wouldn't. on Jesus' name. Okay, how, how, how about this hypothetical? A finger in your bum... Or losing your legs. Oof. I'll lose my legs. What the fuck? <laughs> you, guys don't believe in, you guys just don't believe in trauma. That's the problem. Okay. Tra trauma's real. <laughs> Bro, if a girl ever joked nah, 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 you, you, with my ass, I would go to jail. That's the first time I'd fucking beat up a woman. All right, you, you, I, all right. Listen, now I'm starting to believe you secretly like that shit and you do it all the time. Because here's my thing. You called out Destiny for lying. You definitely no, lying no, out your no, asshole you right now. You probably got a finger no, in your no, hole right now. You can't. I know, so what, you're, I know what you're trying to say, but Abba, this is going to sound really weird. I had a nightmare once where I did get raped and I felt the pain. Right. And right. so it penetrated my psyche for life. Do you understand? Like I had that nightmare. Do you feel like you have to say this because you're Bosnian? No, bro. This doesn't make <laughs> me sound cool, bro. I'm saying this makes me sound kind of gay. <laughs> but I, you've never had a nightmare where you're like getting raped? No. Or you've never had a, a sexually weird nightmare? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Nah, I've never experienced that. I, honestly, bro, I, I think. I, I want you to logic brain this and just be honest for yourself for a second. You would rather lose your... F okay, let's say if it's a woman putting a finger in your bubble, right? She's just okay, putting no, an index no, But I could easily pull the trigger on my fucking head. That's painless. <laughs> okay, so you would, not, you would not give up your legs. I don't know about that one because then I have okay. to like live like that. Okay, 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 okay. But you would... <laughs> he, would say, up, he would give up his legs and then kill himself after. That's what yeah, there you go. There you go. No, the point I'm trying to make is... You know how guys say like, oh, I've had a girl like play with my ass a whole a bit. Uh, that's literally trauma speaking. <laughs> oh, wait, that's no, Zerka, every time? That, if that's, you literally, consensual? that's literally someone self-reporting trauma. Like you had a girl play with your asshole? What kind of well, straight Zerka, guy are Zerka, you? Zerka, yeah. wait until I use a strap on on you and then tell me you don't like it. Don't, you don't know, hate wow, on it. Wow, Rainbow, careful. Don't hate on it yet. Careful. <laughs> Do you mean consensually? Like consensual all anal is rape? Is that what you're saying? It, For men, that's what he's all, saying, yes. All girls who convince their guy to try their finger, all those girls should be in jail for life. No, I'm not taking yes, you seriously. Because, no. No, no, look at the studies. Most men say they don't like it. They're doing to impress the girl because it's trending. You know how it's trending for you liberals to lick each other's dirty assholes? You know, you guys don't just yeah. eat okay. You okay, finger you, each you, other's you, assholes, too. You gotta so I, listen, I'm so ashamed of it, but I love getting my ass ate. So I tell, I have to try to convince women to do it. I don't buy you that. Think you, you think you think they are convincing you? You've convince never them? had your ass ate. Come on, so many times, bro. That shit's fire. Bro, you're my YouTube hero. How can you say that to me, bro? Bro, bro I, I, listen, I'm not listen. subscribing from your fucking channel right now. Are you I know, serious? I know. I just lost a hundred Bosnian subscribers right this moment, but God. I'm okay with it. I'm okay so with when it. did that first happen? You were like 19 when you like it had yeah, to have been a yeah, young yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah, man, it was so traumatic, man. I, she was 40, I was 19. She said bend over, and then she just started ravaging my butthole with her tongue. That was fire. How about that? Means you're on all fours getting your ass hit. I know, bro. The most emasculating thing, man. I felt like I was getting connection with my my, my inner dog, but let me tell you, man, that shit felt good. How boring is sex to you, people? That you do this stuff? Not boring at all. I think it's very exciting, actually. Okay, yo, here, this is something you can judge. When my ex uh, canceled me, she was like crying on stream and she said, I only banged her in one position for a whole year. Is that weird? 
to only being in one position? What, what's preferred? the position? What's the position? Do- like doggy. Doggy's good, yeah. but like only one it's the whole the- time? No missionary? No looking her in the eyes? N- people couldn't believe that I did one position the that whole was her girlfriend? relationship. That was your girlfriend? Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking to myself, am I the only guy on earth that does one position for the whole year? Never. One, not even Valentine's Day. None of that. Like, one. And, you know, people attack me for that. They're like, whoa, you're kind of like a psychopath. No, that's yeah. not that weird. That's not that weird. If you don't like her, I think that's not weird. If you like her, I think that's sus. Like, and me, you know, when I used to have is- clients and they would pay, I would tell them, like, you have to pay for any extra positions. And they'd be like, oh, I don't have the money. So I'm like, all right, well, then you only get one. But I think wouldn't... that scenario makes sense. But if, so you, you, if you love the person, like, you can't just do one position. You got to do a little bit more. Put two yeah, because a lot of people said I'm vanilla. I think you just don't give a fuck about her. No, no, I cared. But uh, I'm not vanilla. We, we did, like, uh, like, like grape play. Gotcha. CNC, consent, non-consent. We love that. Yeah, yeah. What's that called? Consent. C and C. Consent, non consent. So, so I'm not. I'm not boring, right? Did you only do the C and C from the back, like only doggy style? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I guess I'm vanilla. <laughs> did, she, did she ever turn it around and do it on you, just to like you know, for you to experience it, the C and C? No. You know what's funny? <laughs> I I don't understand this, but I don't think I've ever done any like liberal positions or any of that ever in my Doggy life. Doggy style is pretty liberal. It's it's what do you no. CNC is a liberal <laughs> pastime, really. The conservatives and the liberals have this in common. We both love to play rape. Yeah, is that like every human? I think we like to have safe scenarios to play out scary moments in a in a different way. I think we like to have power dynamic shift, and I think we seek intimacy in different ways as long as we know we're safe after. I, I asked her that I asked her and you know I talked to many girls and they always say why rape play is so exciting is because it's her saying I fully trust this guy yeah. like it's the most cozy she can feel but yeah. when I looked at the studies 85% of women have a rape fantasy with a stranger that they've never met it's yeah. not even their fucking husband so 85% of women have a rape yeah. fantasy 85 that's i don't think that means what you think it means yeah it doesn't mean husband it doesn't mean john zerga it doesn't mean that they genuinely want to be raped by a stranger like and they would like it that's not what that means do they mean their partner is playing as a stranger because no 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 no. it it it, whatever you're reading they probably means that the person like has a rape fantasy but it's still gonna be like in a safe way right like the ideal rape fantasy is you get raped actually but like the person doesn't actually like go any further and it's like a fucking 50 shades of gray thing right but it doesn't mean that if somebody says yeah that would be really hot if it happened in a fantasy that they actually want to get raped in real life those are two totally different things Zerka. right well yeah, the fantasy but- is in reality right it's yeah. play you're exactly. playing as yeah. an it's adult play yeah like impregnation fetishes when you reach a certain age i think become hot for <clears throat> everybody like, it's oh, super hot. Facts, but if a girl, facts, if a girl, facts, reading, if a girl would have sent me a text afterwards and say, hey, I think I'm pregnant and it's yours, I would kill myself, right? So it's two different things. <laughs> okay. Now, what about this? Have you noticed, like, people say it's sexist when I say, oh, it's great if she sucks dick. Okay, but if, the, How are we doing the, this guy, the man should not eat pussy because think about it. If I'm acting all feminine, that's not the sexy Zerka that Chad wants. They want the masculine Zerka. So I'm I'm not gonna do feminine shit where I eat pussy. What the fuck? What am I, I a fucking? Dog? I like a feminine man personally, but that's just me. No, no woman likes a feminine man. Any guy that says he doesn't like to eat pussy is gay. You're gay, bro. But that's cool. I accept you. But that's gay shit. Okay. How is that gay? What? That's gay shit. Maybe he has an issue to texture. Actually, a lot of people I know with autism don't go down because the texture no, is No, it's just weird. gay shit. If you're a oh. guy and you're out here saying shit like that, oh, yeah, I'd never eat pussy. You're gay. But that's cool, dude. Welcome to the club. Be gay. Be I'm, gay with me, I'm 28, okay? I'm 28 years old, and I've never had to eat pussy. Like, yeah, God I know. That's great. Because you're, you're looking for your dream dick to suck, you know? It's okay. It happens. <laughs> But Steven, you have to eat it every time. <laughs> you don't have to, but if you're straight, you're maybe drawn to it. But listen, you're just looking for that good uh, I, I, dick I, I, that you're I, looking for. That's fine, man. So I I just, know, it's just funny. Like when you're eating, when you're eating pussy, do you guys feel like, uh, like, uh, like you're her pet? I feel like <laughs> I am going to rock this woman's world right now. That I am going to give her every what? reason to like move off the pillow. 
<laughs> no, no, but if you're a guy, you're supposed to be masculine, I thought. It's not, I don't know why, I'm not sure that masculinity or femininity plays a role in, in okay, the world. Okay, so, so how, far, how far are you going to take it? Can I Can I also wear a tutu dress or just eat pussy? I, how feminine I mean, do you got to be? Should I wear a fucking pink tutu dress? See, you 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 draw the line at a tutu dress. No, I mean I like men in dresses, but I'm saying, what do you have to wear a dress for? Just go down on her. Just like be naked. Just be clothed. Just doesn't matter. I'm Your talking to the boys. Matters. Destiny, oh. Abba, they'll say I'll never wear a tutu dress, but eating pussy's fine. If you were, could get the best sex out of your life, and all you have to do is wear, is wear a tutu dress, you're crazy not to. It'd be crazy no. not to wear the tutu dress. How do you even maintain erection doing submissive shit? I don't even get that. Ask a well, submissive. part one is try not being gay. It's like <laughs> me start. going to bench press and then I start yeah. like licking on the bar. True. <laughs> it's like it's bench press time, bro. You gotta fuck that bitch. <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I'm vanilla. No, What's it I taste like? Deliciousness. A waterfall. All the time? Everything. I've never had bad oil. I've never had. I don't I know. Destiny, you don't need ass though. <clears throat> Why do you think that? Oh, you eat ass? That's what your mom likes, you know? You know, shit comes out of the assholes. <laughs> when piss comes out of dicks, you still let your girl fucking suck it. Yeah, but I'm not sucking. <laughs> you, you, you be kissing her afterwards. No, he probably makes her go to the fucking bathroom and rinse her mouth out and everything. Probably. Abba, yeah. you got a million subs. You're telling me you eat the box still. Absolutely. Can we this? Do we, hold on, Abba, if, Brittany. If you guys are in here, I want to have like a good conversation, not like get it retarded <laughs> down to Zerkus level of fucking autistic stupid shit. Uh, if you guys have a topic you want to talk about, we can talk about it. But okay, I can do I'm editing. Keep going. Fucking retarded convos with Zerka anytime. <laughs> I don't need him dragging you down to it. Okay, I've got time. I've got about an hour, so I'm here. If we want to have more of a discussion, I don't know if you did. You watch me and Abba at all? Uh, I started to, and then this fucking clown popped in, and now I'm okay. Now I'm just... I think I. I think like a uh, I think the conversation went in the direction you had originally really wanted it to go into, which was to ask those like hypotheticals. So yeah, I'm down to have it. Um, but do, don't you think it's interesting that we all have different experiences? Where like I don't know if you're really serious, Stephen, that you'd rather like get raped than punched in the nose with a broken nose. <laughs> but like sure, that's I, interesting. I, I yeah, I can it. Like, I can say that I'm an outlier there. I don't know what else to say. If you think I'm but, just lying, that's but the reason lying, you no. said was kind of stupid, though, just in the sense that you're like, the, the reason wanna... why is because I don't think I would carry much trauma from like uh, adverse or rapey sexual interaction. I don't think I would. With a man or a woman, does it matter? No, I don't think. Well, I mean, like, okay. it's the, the, I'm the, fucked in the head. So, with a woman, I don't know if a woman could rape me. Maybe she was really ugly and had a huge <laughs> fucking strap on. I don't think I would ever care. I've bitten some bullets on some pretty big fucking ham beasts that I've gotten catfished by before, and I fucking went through it, and it was pretty traumatizing. But I mean, fuck it. Um, yeah, yeah. I, oh. I just don't think that, that that's gonna. That's a little bit of a toxic masculine thing to say. These better not be mutilists. Um, yeah, but I think Abba actually said something similar, right? Where it's hard to imagine as a man, like if you woke up with a woman, woman riding you, I think I'd be like pretty annoyed. Um, but like, I, I don't think I would carry much with me there that I would care much about. Yeah, because I don't think the harm there is like somebody destroyed me or somebody violated my sanctity or like I, I didn't feel unsafe afterwards. If that makes sense. It never felt like that's not a situation I couldn't get out of. Um, and so I don't know. For me, it's not the same thing. as. I don't, think that, I don't think that matters, actually. Oh, I, I do. I think if you feel helpless in the experience, then I think that's completely different than something else. True. Like, when I think of if a I dude, if if I I, if I, Go ahead. If I were to ask you, would you rather be raped by, like, a woman strong enough to, like, hold you in place? Or would you rather be raped by, like, a weak man who's going to, like, do his thing and finish and then walk away at the end? Huh? Repeat? So you're saying that like the captivity part is like what's stressing you out or whatever, but like let's say it's just like you're locked up and you can either get raped by like a really weak man or like a really strong woman. I feel like you'd still gravitate towards like the strong woman. Like if it was somebody that could theoretically beat you up as a woman. I, I, I think that for men, I think it's the mental thing of one being penetrated and then two having it be a man is what makes oh, it really oh, fucking. Steven. You, well, yeah, me, yeah, but the me, only I, way a man could do something to me that I didn't want is I allowed it. So if you're asking me like, do I think it'd be worse having it done by a man versus a woman absolutely i think it's way worse having it done by a man people yeah. can feel differently i don't really care i would much rather it was a woman because i think it's just it is a different implication now if she's so strong that she pins me down against my will and i really don't want it in that moment and she's just doing it to me yeah i probably would feel emasculated to the degree but i don't think i'd feel as violated as if it did a man did it for sure that's interesting though, because when you say emasculated, it seems like the so the it's not the experience itself. It's like the fact that it's a woman versus a man doing it is like what 
changes it or what what is the uh, partially that it's a mixture of both who's doing it what gender they are and also um the weight wh- no, yeah, the uh, don't, don't, don't even respond to him. Don't yeah, even respond yeah, to him. Yeah, but, but oh, just like gone. this idea, the idea of feeling <laughs> helpless in that scenario. You know, I have no agency. I think that's what. Sure. Happens. Okay. So let's, here's like a question. Okay. Let's say that you, um, let's say that you're just like, the, okay. All of these examples are very triggering. If this is like a problem for anybody, please let me know or whatever so that we don't get fucking insane. There's like a bunch of screaming here. Okay. So uh, just saying that to get it out of the way. Okay. Let's say mm-hmm. that you're locked in a contraption. Okay. And then somebody's going to come behind you and rape you. And it's either going to be a man or a woman with a strap on. All, all else equal. You can't move. You're restrained or whatever. Does it change in your mind if it's a man or woman doing it? Or at that point, is it equalized to you? No, no, no absolutely changes. It's still a per woman. Okay, that's why I'm saying I don't think it matters the the pressure or the being locked or whatever. There's still something fundamentally different about like a man doing it versus a woman. It's not oh, like yeah. the strength of the domination aspect. Yeah. That's oh no, no, the, the, that's definitely true. That it's different mm-hmm. um, between the genders. Absolutely. I think what also adds to that, if you're in a scenario where you feel helpless, I think it does change the dynamic a little bit because you feel like you couldn't do anything as a man when you should be able to. Because I think part of being a man, at least like in the traditional sense, is that you're able to defend yourself or defend the people close to you. If you feel like you can't do that, then that's also another layer of manhood that you feel is wrong. For. Sure, I don't disagree. I think, um, and then there are ways that that apply to women as well in terms of feeling helpless in an area because you're probably somebody that you thought you could trust and now you're vulnerable and now somebody's taking advantage of that for their own pleasure. It's, there's yeah. a whole bunch of stuff with that that is shitty, yeah. Yeah. Brittany, were you trying to chime in? Not necessarily. I think that ultimately, because I'm such like a individualist in my head, I think just like it's going to impact the individual as it impacts the individual. And I'm not here to decide like what should impact you more or less after the validation. Then we can discuss whether or not our emotions are in a proper place and then whether we can reframe how we feel about our emotions. But it's weird hearing you guys talk about how anal rape would be so bad with a man. But I'm bisexual. So I'm like I'm you could even say I'm pansexual. Like I'm not really focused on the gender of the person raping me. My brain just like it's the fact that I just don't want to do it. And I'm like now being forced to do it, which is so awful that I for me, the gender just possibly doesn't matter That's as possible. much as. But yeah. but you remember what we talked about before. I, I told you like for you, I don't like, yes, there's some women who feel less pure or maybe mm. less whole. But I think I, I think women are probably going to have a easier time, like not having to feel like their entire femininity is completely robbed of them. Whereas a man, I think if you told any man he got inly raped by somebody when he didn't. I think most men would feel like less of a man. Absolutely. There's also, I I think there's a big thing that plays into this with the different ways that men and women view sex in general. I think that in general, men, sex for us is a more external process, assuming you're not gay. Like we have an organ that comes out of our body and goes into somebody else. And I think that in general, we tend to try to take sex. um, We're not in the position of like protecting it. Women tend to be like guarding sex. Like, okay, well, I dole out sex to men that I think are worthy of it. And men try to chase sex. So it's it's strange for a guy, like just on its face to be like, somebody's gonna come and take sex from you. Because the guys generally think, well, I would almost always give sex to anybody. Whereas for a woman, you're generally like not giving sex to anybody. You're more selective for who you dole it out to. And it's an internal process because something's entering your body. I think that those two things have a heavy impact on how you view somebody um, in, in, a, in a rape, I think in general. So like when you, when you talk about like a woman, you wake up and a woman is riding you, like you're technically, you're still inside her. It could be a rape experience. Like you didn't ask what you didn't want it or whatever, but the process is so externalized and everything that I think we just, our engagement with it is like almost on a physical level, it's different. Mm. Yeah. I could see that for sure. I guess like, yeah, all that st- I, for me, like I'm very sensitive to like the idea of being impacted against my consent basically about anything though not too much like i can handle a lot like a lot of unconsensual things happen on a daily basis like an old lady touches you at the grocery store it's like okay i didn't consent to that but it's fine it's no big deal i'm not threatened here so like the threat i think is a part of it but also like i think it's just i don't want to compare people's traumas but i i you're you're bisexual destiny so Mm -hmm. do you think it's the so just to clarify it isn't the gender of the person it's the uh chance for violence or escalation but as a woman when you're being raped like there's always that escalation if you're raped by someone stronger than you so there's always the chance for death or violation in that way so do you guys think if you were raped anally by a man and it was nice <laughs> would that change things it was nice yeah like like ayla's uh uh non-violent rape whatever that means like you would you you didn't feel it you don't remember it like, how do you feel about that idea? Like, for me, I still think it's as bad. But for some people, they might think it's better because you don't remember it. 
Well, I mean, if you it, don't remember it, by definition, it can't be bad because you would never remember it. Well, it no, because you usually have the physical trauma from it, like vaginal or anal tearing. You have to go to medical professionals. You can well, get she just had, she, she just Didn't you just say that it was a gentle rape or whatever? Well, I mean, that I don't even think, okay, fine. Like, would it, oh, God, how do you have a gentle rape? See, I don't think that's possible. I don't think there's, like. I, there's like, definitely differences. There's a complete giant difference between someone beating you over the head and punching mm-hmm. you in the face while they're taking over you. And then somebody you know, or some, maybe, maybe some of you don't, but like, I, I think there's a difference between those. Now we can just say all of the rapes are bad and that's fine. We all agree on that. But I think you can agree that some, th- some of these forms of rape are worse than others. You don't believe that? Uh, I, I mean, that's obviously true, I would say. Yeah, I, Brittany, know what my hierarchy is, but I don't want to project that onto other people because I don't think it's objective. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. But I think we can make generalizations and they don't apply to every individual, but I think you can still have that conversation. I would say this. I think what Destiny said was pretty true earlier because I'm pretty, I'm curious. If you woke up, okay, and you had a strap on on you and you were inside a dude, would you feel like that's as traumatic as someone being inside of you? Are you talking about me? No, no I'm, I'm asking Brittany. About- if Brittany um, had, a, I'm, I'm just curious. I feel like what Destiny said about the external versus internal thing is kind of true, but physically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I do believe the penetration makes a huge difference, which is why yeah. I only constitute rape as like penetrative, anally, vaginally. But that's not fair to a lot of people who feel like their rape is more than that. So I want to validate those people, obviously. But yeah, I think it wouldn't be as traumatic as my personal assault was because that was different. Yeah, it was way worse having something inside me. So, so I think that's a, a big portion of this conversation. I never thought about it that way, but I think Destiny kind of nailed it in that regard. So I think the idea of something penetrating you is drastically different than doing yeah. something external. Well, that's why I'd rather be mugged than raped again. Because it's like, well, a, a, a mugging happens on the outside of my body. Like, even if they cut off my toes or something, it's not inside. It's not the same. But mm. that feels discrediting to people who have had that violence, and I don't want to do that either. But for Brittany, yeah, that seems less bad. Gotcha. I think for most people, that seems less bad. I don't know why we're so worried about discrediting. We can say that like something is bad, but it's not as bad as something else. Or maybe that's just, I'm an asshole. I don't, I, don't, I have no problem like saying something like that. Like, Brittany's trying to be inclusive of every individual thank you. experience. Okay. I just don't yes. know. I also don't know because I don't believe in generalizations because there's 8 billion people on the planet. So I don't know what's How we not, more. Can we generalize people having two legs? True. Yes, for sure. Absolutely. 100%. There, there are certain go. things that I think make sense. Like, you know what I mean? But for my brain, assault is so personal and different that everyone has a different relationship to violence that I'm not sure that it could be the same or not. Like, I'm sure someone who is molested could have the same amount of trauma as somebody who is vaginally or anally raped, even though in my head, I would put molestation above. I would rather be molested than raped. Brittany would. But how could I tell those people that, hey, at least you only got molested? That's what well, you wouldn't like. because you'd recognize that like everybody's background is going to play a really personal role. Um, and yeah. here's what happened. But again, like those backgrounds could be generalized too, right? That like somebody with some background might not have as negative a response to something as somebody with a different background or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I just, yeah, I want to be inclusive and remember that people experience things in ways that I don't. Um, but that's why I think our initial conversation got wa- m- m- muddled. One, because I was triggered. And two, because I was hearing the wrong message. Like I was hearing that you were almost saying, you know, like things were less bad, but like that is the conversation to be had. Why do you think people would rather be mugged than raped? Like, isn't that interesting? I, yeah. I mean, I think it's interesting. I think the reason why is because um, there's a whole bunch of, uh, there's a whole bunch of things surrounding rape that make it fundamentally different than like fighting. Right. Like, so firstly, like if you're, if you're fighting somebody, you t- you tend not to fight for fun. Right. But like if you get raped, you do a sex for fun. Right. So rape has the chance of ruining an activity that you otherwise would like to, I would imagine, continue enjoying. Whereas mm-hmm. like fighting, I mean, maybe if you're a professional fighter, maybe getting mugged can ruin boxing for you. But mm-hmm. rape can carry over into like just like things that are supposed to be fun in life, too, which sucks. Um, there's also the fact that like usually if you're getting jumped or you're fighting, it's strangers that are fucking you up. Whereas for rape, usually you've put yourself in a very vulnerable position, especially as a woman, and now somebody's taking advantage of that. Getting jumped isn't generally the same thing. But ah. I'm willing to bet that people that get jumped because their friends set them up probably have a way worse experience trusting people than people that just get jumped by strangers on the street, right? That would be more closer to getting raped, you know? So I just want to clarify. Because statistics show that you most likely will know your rapist, you're saying that that feels m- more like a thing you put yourself into than a mugging that seems impersonal and by a stranger. I just want to make sure I heard that right. Yeah. I think being violated no, by somebody. No, hold on. That you put yourself into? No. Okay. Just, just clarify. Clear, yeah. Okay. What I'm saying is that when you are having sex with somebody and they rape you and you have a personal attachment to that person, 
There's a person that you are, when, you, when a woman has sex with a man, you are in, endowing him with a ton of trust, a lot of trust. And for them to rape you, they're taking advantage of your trust in the worst way possible because they're stealing sex from you, they're making you feel fucking horrible while raping you, and they're doing it because they're in a vulnerable and privileged position that you've put them in. Not because you put your, uh, you said put yourself in that situation. When you say that, I don't know if you're saying like women deserve to get raped. That's not what I'm no, saying. No, no, no. I'm saying that well, when you have sex with somebody you trust, you're, you're in a position where you've given them a whole bunch of trust and then they're abusing yeah. it oftentimes. That's what I mean. See, this is where I'm an anomaly as well because I did not personally like know my attackers so i don't have a relationship like i don't even know like it's i don't have the same versus other people i know they know the name of their attacker they know where they're living they can find them on facebook like i don't have that so i i like literally just stopped going to that area where i used to live and like i sure. stopped hanging out so i'm trying to figure out if like certain types of rape are more similar to certain types of mugging versus other types of and that's why there's like a little bit of a trauma overlap or not because again in order from i don't want to say like rape is worse or being mugged is worse it's like even taking that poll sounds like we're saying being mugged is better than being raped but like they're both horrible yeah so but like, things can still be better than the other thing like i mean it sounds personally day, but... could they be generally truly yes of course yes, absolutely. for sure with with some things, but with I don't know, I'm having a hard time with the rape thing because like if rape via rape meaning violent rape in my opinion, like not stealthing or anything like that, which I consider sexual assault. So I don't. That's a problem too. Is like what is rape? Because okay. I'm only imagining being held down and saying no, don't do this, and someone doing it anyways. Mm -hmm. Versus some people in my audience um, call their rapes rapes, but like when they ask that person to stop, they did. So then the question is like, are we having different relationships with our? That's sexual assault for sure. And that's definitely molestation. But again, if you can ask your attacker to stop and they do, what are we talking about here? Because in well, a mugging, I mean, a, he doesn't yeah, stop. What, what is rape? That's a fundamentally different question. But I don't think that's related to necessarily what we're talking about. It's just what's being, what's worse, like being raped or being mugged. I mean, if, if, we, if you're going that route, we could probably agree that on the whole spectrum of rapes, that like there's a whole bunch of rapes at the very bottom end that are not as bad as being mugged, right? So like stealthing, where you say, hey, are you fucking me with an economy? And they're like, yeah. And you're like, get the fuck off me. And they get off. I mean, some people would consider that rape, but it's probably not as bad as like getting your arm broken, right? Versus like when you go up the scale for the majority of the human population, I believe majority of the human population, when given a choice between like getting jumped by three people and having the shit beat out of you versus getting anally raped for five minutes, I think a lot of people would chose to get jumped. I think they'd say, fuck it. I know there's more damage and everything, but like there's so much mentally for men Ooh. and emasculation and, and mentally for women and trust and vulnerability that go on with that right. type of rape that they're just like, yeah, fuck Why? it. I really if, if, I, if, I, if I have a, like, uh, so imagine some dude mugs me and breaks my arm, you know? If I got a tier list, that's going into B. But like, if a big prisoner comes up from behind me and just takes over my bumhole, that's going to S tier in terms of trauma. I just think, mm -hmm. um, and then we can categorize those things. There's even, even though, like some, yeah. there's even some weird masculinity things that go into it too, where like, like, like your brother saying, like, oh yeah, like you know, you know, you could come back and have lost that fight, and I'm like, yeah, huh, I got jumped by like four dudes. They broke my arm, but you know, fuck it. Like you can do that and even like be bad and walk it off, mm -hmm. but you're never coming back. Be like, yeah, these guys jumped me, and yeah, they ran a train on my ass and you know raped the shit out of me. But here I am. Like that, it doesn't work the same way, right? You'd always feel horrible. Um, Wait, you don't wasn't even that the original conversation we were having? Because I felt like you were under the impression that getting jumped and mugged and hit in the nose was better than getting raped. But you're saying no. No, no, I. I or first of all, when you say trained, when you say better, <laughs> that's a really weird way of framing. Sorry, me. I'm uh... saying I think <laughs> most it's not as traumatic. Yeah, most be it's not as traumatic getting jumped probably as it is getting raped. I think that's what the vast majority of people would every say. Every guy would agree with that. Every yes. every man on this planet would 100% agree with that. Yeah. Okay, but you guys would stop it when it came to like would you rather die or get raped? I I would. I think there are some men that would rather die. Yeah. But then you ask those same guys would they rather lose their legs or get raped and then a lot of them will change their answer. So like I, I think some people don't view death as nearly as scary as they view some other things and yeah. in that case the, the idea of being robbed of their manhood is, is as good as dying in a lot of situations. And I think a lot of men really do believe that. Like some dudes are so tied to their masculinity they actually suicide themselves after getting raped. That happens. Yeah. I mean like yeah. Yeah, look at the whole like it's like in a way it's kind of like honor culture stuff a little bit, right? Like you would you die for your name, you die for your honor, you'd yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's even women like that. I know women from like secular countries who, after they've taken had their virginity taken, 
from them by force. Like they feel unmarriageable. They feel like they're not deserving that they're sullied. Like, even though it's not their own fault, they carry so much shame with that. They, they, they choose death. So that's yeah. a real thing that people do choose. Uh, now for a lot of other folks who are not nearly as tied to the idea of shame, things like that, it's probably not as intense, but you know, depending on what background you come from, like that goes deep. Yeah, I wonder like how many of us, uh, I organize it in my brain as kind of like, you know, facts of life. So on the macro, of course, like someone has to be raped and it just happened to be me. So it's not personal. That's life. And then I go down to the micro where I feel like, okay, but yes, this thing happened and now I have this trauma. So now I have to fix it like a broken ship, go to the repair man. And then I go to therapy and I get X repaired, but still like repeating X over and over again would be strange to me. Or like, maybe that's how I would view it. Like, do I want this to happen again? Because I've had some people say like they weren't traumatized by their assault. And I'm like, that's interesting. But then if you nail, like talk to them enough about it, they might get triggered when you talk to them about it, when you question them on that. And then that's the question. Are you getting upset when I question you because you're actually traumatized? Are you getting upset that I'm even questioning you because that's traumatizing questioning you about it because that's quite an anomaly to be like yeah I was assaulted I was raped but I don't have any trauma from it that's a very unique perspective and that's one that I would love more research on but I don't think I've ever met that person because every time a person says that to me they usually get pretty upset as the conversation continues so yeah but it's gonna super depend on how you project because the way that you're talking sounds to me like it would trigger the fuck out of somebody that wouldn't have trauma because you you're basically insisting that like my point of view is the only right one and if you're giving me a different answer it's actually just because you don't know yourself and then you would push and push and push push on it until the person got triggered yeah I've had someone do that to me about the sleeping stuff like people like ABBA you, you don't even realize you were traumatized. And I started getting triggered. So yeah. like, bro, I, I think I know my experience. Like, no, no, you're broken. And I and I think I know better. No, shut the fuck up. I just For told sure. you I'm okay. No, no, no. You need to see a thing. I'm like, oh my God. So yeah, that would piss me For off. Sure. People trying to detail and tell me who I am. That would, that would annoy me way more. Uh, 100%. So that's the thing. I felt that way when Steven was talking initially. So I'm trying to figure out how do we have these conversations without getting triggered? But then it's very difficult because it's like, well, how do you know you're not traumatized unless we look at everything in your life, the way you talk to your partners, the way you do at work, the way you, because you know, a lot of people look like they got life figured out, but behind closed doors. I mean, all you can do are ask for like maladaptive behaviors, right? So if somebody says and she's like, oh yeah, I don't think I'm traumatized. It's like, oh, interesting. Like, tell me about your personal life. It's like, oh, you know, I would never be friends with a man ever again. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. See, exactly. When I hear women say, um, like I hate all men, men's tears. I'm like, girl, go to therapy. And they're like, no. And I'm like, okay. Like, you know, you're traumatized. Like go to therapy. Well, sure, That's but the now, thing. Yeah. But now yeah. at the very least, you've got a behavior that you can identify. Right. And you can disagree yes. at that point, but it's like, okay. But like they, like they should know. And they probably do know a little bit. Like this is probably maladaptive. Okay. You're- yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I think it's just hard to face yourself. And look, I don't think people have to. Like lots of people in my life have had like insane trauma or or rather uh, possibly trauma-inducing events. And so they can decide how to feel about it. It's not my job. Just like with my brother, it is not my job because I was pretty upset with him for him on behalf of him at first. And then he told me, do not do that. I am okay. It, I, we're not filing a police report type attitude. So who am I to tell him that he should feel traumatized? And at the same time, I... I wonder all the same but like i will support his b- belief around his us uh, uh, his fight sure. like you know I mean, what that's I mean? all you can that's all you can do right basically yeah it's, for it's sure stuck, but yeah and same the way i define rape might not be universal so i don't want to de- if somebody else considers something that happened to them rape like i want to have that conversation but even then can we really define rape because i feel like we can but apparently we can't because everyone has a very different definition of it. So now there's like a lot of weirdness in my head about are we having the same conversation or are we putting the same weight in the words when we're having the conversation? Uh, and then that, I mean, you, you can know. just, I don't think that that part is very hard. I think you just define it at the start of the conversation. We say rape, what are we talking about? I think you can do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Oh, actually, my audience really wanted your definition of rape, Stephen, because they felt like that was the crux of the issue. I don't think um, it was the crux at all, but I, I don't even have I, a yeah. good definition of it. I don't really care. I would just say, like, unconsensual sexual activity. I, I think getting hung up on the definition of, like, rape and sexual assault and all that is really boring. I don't care. Ooh, remember what I told you, Rick? I, I said that. I said that. I think it's stupid if someone's like, I was uh, raped, and like, no, actually, you were sexually assaulted. I'm like, like well, for that, sure. that, that distinction is so autistic to me, and people try to do that all the time. It's kind of like the similar one. It's like, no, no, that's not racism. That was prejudice and discrimination i'm like yeah okay. good luck with that buddy i think the nuance though is that these things are different because when you're actually in therapy they ask you these questions and they ask you to reframe how you see it so you can give yourself like a 
a little bit of a reprieve from the pressure of the word you're associating your assault with. I think so, if like, they're doing that, though, they're probably just trying to like deprogram whatever like social stigma is fucking your brain up. I don't think that it's like, sure. I couldn't deal with this for so long, but then my therapist told me that it was rape. And now that I know the word is rape, now I feel like I can deal with it. It's probably more just like, well, I had a really bad sexual interaction with somebody and for some reason I felt weird about it. And now my therapist told me that was a bad sexual interaction and it's okay to feel bad about it. And now they probably are able to deal with it. That's probably more it. It's not just like fixating on the word. It's just it like could, fixating on like the expectations yeah. of what happened. G generally, it, it could, the, the fixation on the word is also used to invalidate certain experiences. And it could like, be. Well, it's not as bad as what you think right. it is. Mm -hmm. And also, we, if we're being honest, a lot of these definitions do overlap in a tremendous way. It's not yes. like they're completely separated from each other. So oftentimes when I see those conversations unfold and people are trying to like nitpick at the definition super strongly, it just feels like a disingenuous way well, to go ahead. Kinda, but I, well, I see, also, now I'm I confused because now you guys are saying we can say generally something is worse than the other. But isn't that what you're doing right now by saying we shouldn't decide what sexual assault versus rape? Because that's what your initial – that's why there's no, no, confusion. No, that's not saying whether something's better or worse. It's just like where do we like define some terms, right? Well, The, the reason why the, I get weird about the people – freaking out over the rape thing is because like sometimes i'll see this is a reddit and twitter thing i see a lot i don't know if it happens in real life conversations but people will have a conversation where it's like i woke up today and my boyfriend was inside of me and we haven't really talked about that i'm not like a big fan of that and people are like you got raped you have raped. and they're like fucking it's insane you need to break up with him you need to follow police and it's like bro holy shit calm the fuck down um where people are like rushing to like give the biggest word possible to like make something like catastrophic and it's like there's no reason for this it's absolutely absurd but on the flip side, like what Brittany said, somebody might be coping really hard and be like, I don't think I was raped. I don't think I was assaulted. Like this guy, you know, I, it was my fault, blah, blah, blah. And having somebody say, like, listen, like you did get raped. It's okay to accept that and process those feelings. It's healthier than just saying like nothing bad happened. That could be like the flip side of that as well, you know? Yeah, but even the flip side of like, see, my brain, and maybe it's just my brain, hears you say we should be able to say generally what's worse mugging or rape but then that's the same thing what's worse sexual assault or rape it's all the same to me I, if we're going to start playing the game no i think if you want to have that distinction and you want to make those definitions clear on a macro scale, that's fine but if okay. someone's relaying me an experience i'm not going to okay. be like actually honey you weren't raped you were sexually assaulted like in that moment it feels like the most retarded thing to do in that for sure 100 yeah okay 100. because because, because there's so that. much overlap it sounds like you're just trying to discredit what they're going through Right. Exactly. Rather than, but if you're yeah. asking me, like, are there differences? Absolutely, there are differences. And when it comes to sentencing, when it comes to legal framework, I would treat them differently. But there's nobody like people do that all the time too. When like someone's like, "Well, this person beat me up and said they hated Asian people." Like, actually, that's not racism. That's just prejudice because it was a Samoan part. Like, I feel like oh that God. kind of line yeah. of talk is just very autistic and For stupid. Sure. And yeah, it's not worth having at that point. Yeah. But isn't that why? Oh, go ahead. Random voice. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Hi. everybody. Um, I have a question, and I don't know if this is an insensitive question for some, but I'm very curious what you guys think about this. And I'm sorry if it's already been spoken about. Um, do you guys think that rape from the back versus rape from the front is worse? Um, that's not is this, is this, I mean, is which is worse? Oh my god, sorry. Uh, which one is worse in your opinion? <laughs> You mean, are you asking us, like, if the dude's look at me in the eyes versus not look at me in the eyes, which one's worse? No. Ass rape or pussy rape, which one is worse? <laughs> both are equal for me, I think, because I like both in real life, but I hate both in the context of rape. Yeah. I, you know what? I mean, this is going to sound kind of fucked up, but I know in countries where people try to maintain their virginity really hard, I think vaginal is actually worse. Mm. There's, uh, there's plenty of women out there who are actually having plenty of premarital sex, but they will not have any vaginal sex ever because they want to maintain their chastity for mm -hmm. marriage. And so I think in those kind of scenarios, that would probably be worse. Outside of that, I don't think it matters. But like physically, it would hurt more to get <laughs> ass raped, but then you can get pregnant if you get <laughs> pussy raped. I don't. Well, I, I think that um, this might come out as really unpopular, but I can defend this to the death. I don't think the physical part actually matters almost at all when it comes to how bad like rape is. I think the physical part is way, way, way down in the list of things that matter. Like the physical trauma from it, like the tearing and stuff. Yeah, I don't bleeding. think that matters that much. Yeah. Oh, it does when you're in the hospital a few days later. The, it, the, you getting raped so hard that they're, you're like actually trying to need hospital attention is so un. That would be unfathomably rare. That's like some insane shit that's going on. Uh, but like. You can, oh. yes, what I just said was true. The, the, yes. I mean, every, myself included, but every person I know goes, gets, do, like, they go to their doctor and for sure get treated for the cuts and the scarring inside, which I don't have, thankfully. But a lot of my female friends have literal scarring inside their vaginas from their rapes. 
Bro, so that I, does take some medical care. How did you just allow the female Zerka to come in here and just throw this whole shit off? True. I, well, it's an interesting question. Um, <laughs> but, but like, if, if you There's remove- no way you were shitting on just... fucking Zerka, and now you <laughs> think that's an interesting... <laughs> Wait, did you call me the female Zerka? <laughs> Hey, man, that's what it sounded like. I thought he got you to come up on this live stream and say that shit. No. That sounded like an exact Zerker question. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, okay. I, I think that for rape, I think if you took away all the... This is why I don't like when people bring up like pregnancy or STDs either. If you take away all the physical trauma, and if you take away like the chance of STD or pregnancy from rape, I think it's still basically just as bad. I don't think it affects it almost at all. Like if, if rape is like 100 points bad, and you got rid of like STIs, any pain, and... um. And the uh, chance of pregnancy, I think it would be like 100 to 99. It would like be very, very, very little, like not as bad, but it would still basically be as bad, I think. Are we assuming the vaginas are wet? Um, probably not that wet. If you're getting raped, I would imagine. Actually, well, it can advice. happen, actually. It, it, I don't, yeah, but I don't want to talk. Oh, my yeah, God. It's like the happens. most autistic. Well, I know it can happen. You can also come while getting raped. It's possible. But just, on the yeah, whole, you're probably not going to be as wet while getting raped as you would be in a consensual sexual interaction with foreplay. Otherwise, women wouldn't complain about not having foreplay to get wet before they have sex. True. In general, you're not going to be as wet getting raped as you are like having a consensual sexual interaction. Well, considering what Zerker said earlier, that 85% of people. All right, let's just stop. <laughs> Good one. Let's just stop. Let's just stop. In my head, in me life while I'm dead My belly's being fed and I'm okay I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine Not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense I've been nothing but blessed So why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah, I'm Sick of reaching out for the truth And living life as a fool Dun, da, 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 da.